What was going on through your mind as you were being arrested and charged with murder? Fear, disbelief, shock. But at the same time, I was optimistic because I just believed that if you're innocent, then there were people who were going to do the right thing and be able to figure it out. And so I believed without a doubt that everything would get worked out. Yeah, it got worked out, but man, it just took a long time. It's a blessing to see you again. Being in prison for 15 years as an innocent man, did you ever give up? No, I never gave up. I knew I was innocent. And I was never raised to give up. We were raised to fight. We grew up fighting and persevering and overcoming. And most of all, we were taught faith. My faith is the number one thing that brought me through that ordeal. There was many days that I thought about committing suicide. I was this close from saying, you know, well, what's the use? If I have to live the rest of my life in a place like this for something that I don't know anything about, I'd rather be dead. But they say that adversity can bring out the best in you. I refused to give up. And it just strengthened my faith and made me fight harder. A lot had changed in the world while you were locked up. How have you been adjusting? I haven't. (laughs) I'm still unable to adjust. Prison changed me to where I have nothing in common with anybody. I felt like I was on a whole different planet for 20 years. But I still believe that there are people who care and who want to make a difference. That's why I'm here right now. We have a serious epidemic of people's lives being destroyed because of wrongful convictions. Everybody that loved me, they suffered right along with me. So it wasn't just my life, it was their lives as well. With any epidemic, you fight for a cure, and that's my purpose. Once people understand how devastating this is, then I think it will move people to action to want to do something to prevent this type of thing from happening to human beings.